Hi guys, I'm Rob Richards, part of Team Power Tech, and on today's training show, I'll be showing you how to focus on upper back development and width to really get that V taper in the shoulders down to a tight waist. Three exercises using two Power Tech machines the lever gym and later on the functional trainer. First up, lat pull down to really focus on some width and thickness in the upper parts of the back, working latissimus dorsi. Now to really get the full benefit of doing the lat pull down, you want to focus on squeezing the center of your back. Too many people focus on just pulling it down with their arms, engaging more with their biceps than their lats. And the key to this is keep the chest directly above that line of pull so that the back muscles are squeezing as you bring that bar down. Now the bar shouldn't touch your chest, but it's as though for women, think of your bra strap right in the center of the back. You want to be squeezing that with your lats. And for guys, if you have a training partner, have them hold their fingers just in the upper area of the back so that you can really feel that squeeze as you pull the bar down. Again, it's about muscle engagement and really working the muscle involved in that particular exercise. 10 to 12 repetitions, three to four sets, increasing the weight up in increments of no more than about 10%. And that's key to some solid muscle growth within a couple of months training. Next up, we're gonna do a seated single hand row, again, to focus on a full range of motion and really hit that outer and upper portion of the back. Let's set it up. Really feeling that one. It's a great exercise to do and also a variant by switching left to right. I've only done an example here, so make sure you do both the left and the right side. But by switching arms and just working isolaterally, one side at a time, you can really focus on going that little bit extra range of motion to really hit that muscle hard and increase the weight. Again, it's only a small step up that you need to really make a difference. A couple of tips with this one. When you're seated, make sure you keep the hips firmly planted down on the workbench. So you're not twisting the whole body around, pretty much turning that other shoulder around and squeezing the back in as you pull the handle close towards your hip. Simple technique when breathing, breathe out, that will help tighten the abdominals, rotate round, keep the elbow close to the body and really squeeze in that back, holding for a split second to reduce any momentum of swinging back and forth. Again, 12, 15 repetitions tops, always trying to increase the weight for every work set. Right, let's move on and finish off with a body weighted exercise to really target our upper and outer portion of the back. Body weighted pull ups are one of the best exercises for developing and strengthening the back, but only if performed correctly. Now, I'm going to use a neutral hand position on these pull up bars up here to really focus on the inner upper portion of the back. And like with the lat pull down, I'm gonna angle my chest upwards directly above literally where the weight is gonna be, which is my body weight, so that when I pull my body weight up, it's the back that's really engaging and lifting up, not my arms again. So let's get to it. Just that simple changing of that hand grip from an overhand wider grip to that neutral narrow grip really can make a big difference in how you engage and how you work the back. You really do feel it in the inner portion here, which will help thicken out and grow more width in the back. 
just be careful that you go through a full range of motion to really stretch out that back muscle. A lot of the time you may see people in the gym just do a short range of motion and really not engage the full back muscle. So my tips for working on a wider back development and getting that V taper is start with a heavier lat pull down, then focus on some isolateral movements with some single handed back rows, finishing off with some body weighted exercises for really as many repetitions as you can do. Every now and again, switch it up, reverse the routine and start with body weighted and move through up towards the heavy weights. You'd be surprised at how much strength you may have left at the end of the workout. That's all I have time for today. For more videos, check out Powertech Fitness and I'll be back soon to show you more tips, tricks and techniques to get that Powertech dream body. See you soon, bye.